Today is Saturday, the 18th of February, 2023. A few days to the presidential election holding on 25th of February. And today, supporters of P2B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, are telling us that they are going to shut down Nigeria. And the thing is that they are just holding a rally. A supporters 100 million man march today in a few hours now people will start gathering is not going to be in one location is all over Nigeria you know Nigerians are very fond of um, they are special people mm -hmm. so 1 million March they have held 2 million happened 5 million now they want to up the 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 the, the and 100 million match. I'm thinking, where are they going to get 100 million Nigerians? I think half of us have to flow into the street. <laughs> Those who are registered to vote are not even up to 100 million. But that's um, the Nigerian spirit. And these are the obedience and P2B supporters, the Labour Party supporters, so be that group. Before we give you the rest of the details, please kindly like this video, share a subscribe to our channel. Please give us a thumbs up so that YouTube will now send out this video to many other people. The supporters of the presidential candidate of Labour Party P2B will today embark on a hundred million man march across, look, listen to it, 774 local government areas in 36 states of the federation including the federal capital territory let's do a simple mathematics here if actually in every go local government 100 people come out it will be 77,000. if 1000 come out in every local government it will be 774,000 people if 10,000 come out it will be 7.7 .7 million so for them to achieve 100 million every local government will bring out about 100,000 people i'm just trying to figure out how they can achieve this the whole thing is being planned and spearheaded by a joint committee made of Obidati support groups worldwide and signed by the lead of Obedience Global March, Justin Kingland, and the founder of the 100 million man march, Professor Chris Mwa Okobia Jr. Another aspect to this is that apart from the 774 local governments in Nigeria, they want to even extend this abroad, foreign countries. So people will be marching in New York, in London, Paris, um, Tokyo, Beijing, Kenya, uh, Johannesburg. Name, name it. They said a global movement. They said that the obedient 100 million march, global march, was the first, was the final push to put boots on the ground to actualize a new Nigeria built on equity, justice, and service. Part of the statement said, today we make a new call on all obedience to march in this grand rally on Saturday, February 18th, being today. The global, the obedience 100 million global march is a statement of our renewed hope and undying love for Nigeria. It is a platform for an expression of our deter, uh, determined, determined hope to save Nigeria from the hands of political maruders whose time has come to an end. It is the stamp of our feet on the grounds of a new nation built on equity, justice and justice. The statement called on all obedience to come out and mass and lend their voices to this song of our future and freedom. It added the information on locations and routes have been made available on obedience platforms and on social media. 
We have also made available phone numbers for efficient communication and guidance. For those in Abuja City Centre, the march will begin from the Unity Fountain and close at the city gate. We call on all our brothers and sisters worldwide to make themselves available at the designated locations in their countries and states as useful obedience. We are determined to see a new Nigeria rise from the ashes. May God help us, the statement concluded. So, one thing about this obedience is that they are very innovative. You cannot take it away from them. Why are they innovative? Because the crop of these people are young people, the youth, very creative generation, using digital means, um, the laptop generation, if you may, internet generation, social media generation. So they are exhibiting their talents, the talents of many young Nigerians. They are putting it into this uh, uh, P2B project, the obedience project. I have never seen so much songs um, in Nigerian politics like the people have done, especially the obedience. They have used all creative means. If you are, belong to any of their groups, you receive tons, tons of um, skits, jokes, fun, digital creations and marketing uh, methods that have never been employed in Nigeria before. They even created apps for the election. And you can stay in your home and know the polling unit that somebody is voting at. If you are in Lagos, you can see the one somebody is using in Medugri, in Borono State. So that's how they have worked very energetically and they troop out at any slightest sign. And they are very vocal. You, don't, you can't shout them down. Rather, they will shout you down. And you know the most interesting thing about this is that if you really look when they are out in the street you can easily know and believe that no politician in nigeria can sponsor this kind of uh, uh, um, activity they make their own caps their own t-shirts their own flags their own emblems, P2B cannot afford that. Even the mega parties that have um, federal wallets behind them, like the APC, they, can't, they couldn't match this. These people just come out, pay their way, print what they you want to use, and they come out in mass. You can't, you can't give this kind of people money. It's not a crowd that you can purchase. No, they do it voluntarily. Voluntarily. And, I mean, it's, it's very wonderful. I think politics in Nigeria has permanently changed. Let's see what is going to happen. Come back to this channel because we will be monitoring that 100 million match and bringing you updates. See you in our next update.